Hey guys, Cubehams here and welcome to a new Redstone video, a little update video. I've been uh, getting a lot of questions of people asking, Cubehamster, how's it going with the Missile Factory? So I thought, why not do a little update video and show you guys what's up? Um, not much has changed for those that uh, follow me on Twitch, follow my streams, but I understand that obviously not anyone, like not everyone can attend the uh, the streams. So uh, for those people that are like have missed out a little bit on the streams and are curious to see how far I've gotten with the Missile Factory, then this is the video for you. Um, this thing has gotten quite big uh, and it is, you know, technically done, uh, but there's still more stuff that I would like to add. Uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with uh, this project, uh, this is a factory that assembles slime block TNT missiles that automatically fly to, you know, target, uh, well, in the extension of the missile, and then blow up. Um, so what I'm going to be able to do now is I'm going to slow down the game a little bit. Um, this is something because I'm like running mods that allow me to slow down my game. Everything else you see is vanilla, let me just emphasize that. Um, but I'm going to press this button, and what this will do is this will set in motion a sequence of events uh, that will ultimately lead to the construction of a slime block TNT missile. So there's a whole bunch of, um, like, uh, how do you say, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like conveyor belts, or cartridges is probably a better word. Um, and these cartridges are kind of like combining, combining TNT blocks with slime blocks with redstone blocks with pistons and stuff like that also like literally like assembling slime blocks in a, a certain configuration uh, just due to uh, like being able to separate slime blocks from each other uh, with certain mechanics um, but yeah all these things are uh, combining and eventually like this is where the missile is uh, going to get built um, but like all the other parts and stuff have to kind of be pushed into position. So this thing is going to get pushed forward now. You see this thing picking up pistons and stuff and getting pushed forward. There we go. And now it has to be moved up. Oh, careful not to press double jump. And then eventually when this last piston gets pushed in from the back, uh, we have created the engine of the cruiser missile. And this is basically station one. And now this thing is flying by itself to station two, uh, where it will get stopped. And we'll, we'll start to add um, the trigger mechanism and a bunch of TNT. Um, it's a little bit easier to see what's happening in uh, this station. So I'm going to speed up the game a little bit. I'm going to go uh, half speed. But yeah, this thing arrives here. The piston will stop it. And basically, there's a very long timer. Um, that will uh, allow for stuff to happen before it takes off again. And what you will see is, uh, you know, glass blocks being placed. Uh, glass, obviously, instead of TNT, in order to make sure that uh, things don't accidentally ignite. Um, but this TNT has to be, you know, set up in a certain configuration. So, moving that in, moving the glass also in under specific circumstances. Now, this TNT is too far forward, so we just push it back a little bit. Um, but now there's a piston in the way there. That's not a good thing. Uh, there's a piston coming in from here. That's, you know, been released somewhere from there. And one of my favorite parts of the uh, missile is uh, is this thing. I needed to move in a redstone block from very, very far away. So I created this, uh, like, super long uh, extender. Uh, uses some interesting mechanics to move the redstone block over here. Now we move that down. And hopefully, at any moment now, the timer, you kind of saw it there, uh, will make this missile go to the third and final station. Now, as this thing is flying, it will actually come into uh, an area that uh, caused me a little bit of hassle, uh, because there's some quasi-connectivity going on here that jams this piston. And we'll be like, quickly turn off the redstone above and then update the missile again so it can fly to the third station, uh, where we will add the... Uh, basically the warhead. So this is going to be mostly TNT. Uh, this TNT is going to come in from the left and the right and from below. And takes a little bit. Like this this factory is not super fast or anything. Um, but basically what we do is we uh, we use the slime blocks to get the TNT and stuff to be put into a certain shape and then we combine those. And now it's kind of just a matter of uh, 
moving in the TNT from the bottom, uh, which I hope will work. There we go. So we're going to be placing a bunch of TNT. Maybe I can actually like watch this from below. And these are all like super long cartridges, and uh, I like chose to go for kind of an unusual way of doing all these like cartridges because uh, I kind of wanted to like there's ways you could do this like relatively easily using sand, but I as a sort of challenge decided that I did not want to use uh, any sand. <laughs> um, so like that's what I was going for. Now quickly move this out of the way because I need an air gap there and then this double extender is going to get moved out of the way and this thing will move uh, towards the exit of the factory where there's actually a door. This is not a door designed by me but by Deco 200. It is like the fastest 4x4 door in the game. Uh, I think it's really cool. So this thing will move back and like just behind the missile this will close instantly. Uh, and then this thing will start to fly towards the... Uh, this is like this is actual speed of the missile. This missile is quite fast, and it has a lot of TNT. Um, but yeah, let's just fly it into the uh, massive glass wall and see how much damage it does. There's two triggers on this missile. If you're interested in this missile, I'll put in a link in the description to like a separate video because you can build this yourself. Uh, but yeah, triggers, and hopefully we'll get you know massive explosion. There we go. It's a little bit unfortunate that this part didn't explode this time. Normally that does happen. There's TNT here that somehow did not get triggered. I guess that happens. But uh, yeah, that is the missile factory. And now you might be wondering, well, this thing looks pretty done, right? Um, but the thing that I've been uh, kind of like neglecting to do is I want to extend the cartridges because at the moment you have enough like cartridges that's like these things. Um, enough cartridges to print out like I don't know, maybe like five missiles. There are some of them that are very long, but I have to extend a lot of short ones basically to make it so that I, I would like it to be able to print like 20 to 30 missiles before it, it, it like you have to refill it. Um, but I'm also interested in maybe perhaps, like it doesn't feel like this is enough. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can maybe do something interesting. If you have suggestions for something uh, that could add to this missile factory, then uh, feel free to put them uh, in the comments of this video. Uh, but yeah, that is my missile factory, or at least the update video on the missile factory. I'm not going to release a download of this thing uh, until it's done. I don't like I'm like releasing projects before they're done, uh, before I'm like fully happy with them but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did then be sure to hit a like on the video and if you're new to my channel then like if this hasn't convinced you to subscribe then like i give up i don't know then i, I don't know anymore i don't know what to do <laughs> but yeah guys hope you enjoyed have a good day and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the next video Bye bye